Hey guys, welcome once again, Tony from Tony's Trucks, Campers, and Outdoors Channel. Forgive me, I'm driving and I'm holding my camera. Just driving just a little bit further here. Today's subject is what do you do with your campers, your boats, your outdoor things when you don't have a lot of room at your house? Well, most of us sport them in storage. It's insane you see the storage units all around. I live in the greater Phoenix area and there is just state campers everywhere you go. Acres and acres and acres of parked campers and boats and stuff. Well, I'm no different. So what I'm doing, I'm actually moving mine today because I'm at a place called Stellar RV Storage. Now, Stellar RV is right next to Stellar Air Park. It is definitely how the other people live, how the rich half live. Million dollar homes private airfield and you see a lot of what happens it's one of these type places where you land on your private runway and you drive your airplane down the up to your house hit the garage door open and drive your airplane into your garage it's one of those kind of places that rinse I'll show you a little bit of here can't really see it here from here but like this over here over this wall is a is a hangar all these are hangers here you can drive park your hangar park your uh, your bird right there so they, I guess they had extra acreage left over, so they made it an RV park. And uh, that's where I've had my uh, camper and my boat for about the last year and a half. And really, I don't have a lot of complaints about it. I really don't. It's been very good. It's huge. I'm going to show it to you. Here we go. Stellar RV. Here's the RV gate. I'm going to punch in my code. Okay. You press the button, put the code in. The gate opens, and again, this is airplanes to the left, RVs everywhere else, but there's a runway dead ahead, straight ahead. It's, it's an active runway, and there are many planes that fly in and out of here every day. But it's a nice place. It's a big yard. It's a big lot. What I love about it is the size. I'm on one of the premium lots, and here's my setup right here. Forgive my dirty truck. Here's one of my, here's my setup right here, and that, look at how long that is. It's about, I think, I, I want to say it's like 75 feet. I've gotten my boat back there, my camper. If I put them nose to or cheek to cheek, I literally can put another boat in front. It's insane. There's that much room. So I'm going to go hook up and I'm going to talk about it more. So we'll take a little break for right now. Rich is going to help me. So again, this is the lot here. I'm just showing you in detail. So let me show you a close up some of the problems. See this here? Look at this. We're talking. Grand Canyon size pitches here. I mean, it's just terrible. And this, these are all throughout the whole thing. You can see where it's been repaired, but it really needs to be totally resurfaced. Yesterday, we we're pulling my boat, pushing my boat out of the way to get the camper in because my sons were taking to the boat. And we were just pushing and I had the front wheel down. It got, it fell right into this rut here. Before I could stop it, my son was pushing. Fell into this rut here and pulled the front. The boat kept coming. The tire fell into the rut. It sheared, sheared the pin. And down she went. In fact, there it is. There's the culprit. It sheared it right off, man. So, and and it because of this stupid BS lot. Another, just look at that. You couldn't have cut that better with your with your cutting torch. Nope. And so this is one of the reasons that we're leaving the slot. That and look at this sun. It's so Arizona sun just eats everything. Okay, so our plan is right now we're hooking up. We're hooked up to my truck with uh, my camper. Rich is going to take his truck and God bless him. He's going to hook up my boat. We're going to hook it up and then um, we'll get that one out of here. So this is it. We are saying goodbye to Stiller RV. It's not a bad place. I'm not ripping it. The size and stuff, it's been good. It's kind of cool. If you like airplanes, I love them. They, they take off and land here all the time, several an hour, but uh, uh, it's just, it's too hot in this Arizona. I want to preserve as much as I can. So our new place, I think you'll like it. I'm going to show you that next place. It's called Carefree RV. And it's actually a little closer to my house than this one. So so once again, it is moving day. And we are moving from one RV storage unit to another. Uh, we're going a little bit through town here. But the, the way I would drive to it normally, it's all freeway. And it's, it's uh, actually about a mile closer if I do it that way. So, But we don't want to take the cover off the boat. Uh, just because we're too damn lazy and it's 109. Look at this. 109 degrees. 109 degrees on the last day of 
June 2022. So basically what that tells us is this is the reason I'm moving. It's amazing how the sun in Arizona eats up everything. My boat was beautiful and it's been in the sun three years, covered up, but in the sun and it's decaying left and right. So I just got to get it underneath the uh, covered parking as well as my camper, same thing. So I will check back with you uh, when we get to the new facility and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, this is it. Queen Creek RV Storage. Queen Creek Carefree. Carefree RV Storage. Rich has already got the boat backed up. I'm going to go out and take a look at it. But this is it. Is this gorgeous or what? This is the new facility for now. we got to go check it out. Hang on, Rich. Hang on. Okay, the boat looks good. It looks like it's going to be a super, super, super tight fit. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I love this place. I hate to have to buy two of them. We measured it. It should work. There it is. RO48. Row 48. I tell you, you just cannot beat these strong F-250 three-quarter tons. I mean, they pull this, this baby just fantastic. But there it is. I was curious if we were going to make it. We measured out. These are 50-foot slots. This one we measured. The girl from the establishment came out with her deal and measured 54. And I knew if I did that, with Rich's ass in the way, I'll go on the other side so I'm not forced, you don't, not forced to take a look at that. Anyway, we're chalked up on everything here. Here's the back. Right down the line. It's just cooler in here by 10 degrees or probably more. I mean, it's just it's great. So Rich is working on, he's going to try and pull that thing. We screwed that up yesterday at the other place, that big rut we fell in. Now, this is how tight, tight we are, right here to the edge. And we come up front. And here it is. So yeah, this is the place. It's just, it's an expensive facility. It is literally twice the price we're paying before. We're making some adjustments on a few other things. We're getting, uh, we have a large storage unit. We're going to cut that down by two thirds to try and cut the price to be able to pay for this because in Arizona, I mean, it's 109 you saw out there. Inside here, it's probably 10, 15 degrees cooler. It's not in direct sunlight. It's not going to get rained on. Not much snow this time of year, any time of year for that matter. And this is filling up fast. This is a new section that's been here for quite a while. But this section opened up about three months ago. And it's probably half full already. Big. There's a lot, many millions of dollars worth of equipment here. So, we're going to get disconnected and that's it. So, I just wanted to show you our new spot out of the sun. You'll get a little sun in the morning and then uh, when it matters, like right now at high, high noon, what time is it? 2.30 in the p.m. We're out of the sun and looking good. Okay, so look at all this awesome. These ladies over here, I'm not going to show you because I don't have their permission, but they're wonderful and everybody here is really, really, really helpful. This is Carefree RV Storage, correct? Only we're not in Carefree, Arizona. We're actually on the bottom part south of Chandler here on the res, but don't tell anybody it's the res. Okay, there it is. Look at all the cameras. They have lots of security and everything's cool. All right, next step, I'm going to show you a few other things. There it is. Carefree covered RV storage. Can I show you ladies? You okay? Yeah. All right, there they are. They've been wonderful. They are, they're absolutely, and there's another, several others I've talked to have been wonderful. This is a facility. You come in here, it's nice and cool, and it's really cool. I'm very impressed. It ain't cheap. We all know that, but from what I see, it's well worth it. All right, that's it. Thanks. Back to you. Okay, we're inside the main gate by the office, and here is the RV. This is included every, every, uh, every year. I mean, every with every month, uh, you can wash your RV, your boat, my truck, my wife's car, anything like that, uh, right here at no extra charge. This is included, and there's also a dump station. So when you come inside, you just gotta set the thing up. There's no extra charge. And you can blast off your IV. It's got the big IV. Your RV. It's got the big hoses. There's the dump station there. The water to the dump. It's really nice. Again, included in the ridiculous cost every month. But it's worth it, from what I can tell. We're going to do it a year and feel it out. Here's the second wash bay. Same thing here. Dump station. Brushes everything you need. Okay. We're going to take a little further run down here. I'll show you a couple other things they have. So over here is the propane. They sell it to you. What they say is cost. 
whatever it is per gallon they pay for it. They said they don't try not to make any money on that. So that's too, you can fill your RV. Over here is the ice station. Now over here, what you see is this uh, Winnebago that's parked. That is the prep station. You can actually reserve it for up to 24 hours, plug in, hook up, and prep yourself. You can bring it in, cool it off, and a whole bit. And here they say, limit two bags of ice, but it's basically, look at that. Look at that. So you can come by and get anytime you want a couple bags of ice. And this vehicle is probably going to be leaving tomorrow, so they got it cooling off. And maybe they'll come this evening and they'll fill it up and prep it up and do whatever they're going to do. I think it's really cool. So this is the setup. This is it. And and I, I really like it so far. Like I say, I've been here, I don't know, half an hour. <laughs> but there it is. So for the moment anyway, for the time being, uh, I might come back with some aerial footage of the place. This is, this is there's four lots. This is the A lot right here. We are in the C lot across the way. That's the B lot across the street there. And this is it, carefree RV storage facility in southern part of the, uh, basically South Chandler, Arizona. And that's it for now. So Tony, from Tony's Campers, Tony's Trucks, wow, Trucks, Campers, and Outdoors Channel, that's it, our new home out of this damn blissful, disgusting heat. So everybody, hope you're having a terrific day. Stay cool wherever you are. It's summertime. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.